All right, hello everyone. Um, in the last couple of videos, I was asked various times via email and Skype and all sorts of medias um, how exactly I ended up here and why it is I'm doing what I'm doing. So I'm going to try answer at least a couple of these questions in this video. And yeah, the truth is, there's days like today when I ask myself the same question, to be honest. But really, generally, I mean, I am marine biologist by trade, or that's what I went to university for. I am ecologist as well. So I know, or I get the idea of what's going on in the world. And I know that we are abusing a very fragile ecosystem in many ways. And I guess those realizations were the ones that eventually drove me towards big environmental organizations like Greenpeace, where I spent the last couple of years on the ships, being a decky there and doing the best I could to well, do my fair share of trying to protect the world from ourselves mostly. And yeah, by now a little more than a year back, a year and a half, uh, maybe two years, I was running a crowdfunding campaign because on board the Greenpeace ships I realized there's lots of small NGOs out there with brilliant ideas and well, good solutions to local issues, let's just put it that way. But lots of them got really excited when we came in with the ships and of course being the big organization that Greenpeace is, there's always a tight schedule and they have to keep moving and well, eventually move on. So lots of them didn't never get the chance to use the boat as they wanted it and Therefore, in my head, the idea became, well, kind of real, that it would be amazing to have like an open research platform on a boat. And I figured that for most things, you really don't need a research ship, like the big ones that the universities own and run and that cost a fortune to run every day. Most of those things, like sampling for microplastics or just or collecting samples or doing baseline surveys where you basically go snorkeling and diving. You can do all that from a small boat easily. So ultimately I was running a crowdfunding campaign to try to get the money together to build a boat like that. And lots of you guys who watched that probably were part of it and chipped in and I managed to raise a bunch of money back then. By far not the kind of money I needed to actually get a boat though. So something else happened though during that campaign and that was Luca Schuli finding me and he's the person who founded EcoSwiss at the time which is another NGO uh, that was running kind of charter research expedition tours into the Meguia archipelago. So eventually he called me up and asked if I wouldn't want to be a skip on his sea nomad, I mean, sailing camera. And I thought about it for a while and looked up where exactly this Megui archipelago is that he was talking about and eventually agreed. So that's how I ended up being in Thailand and Myanmar last year, where I also crossed paths with uh, Will, who was the one who contacted Luca in the first place which is the reason why he wanted to reactivate his organization. And, well, Luca then donated his boat to Project Naya, and she was in some, let's just call it disrepair, or not in the best state anyways. So there was a lot of work to be done on the boat, and there was a lot of money flowing into that, which was for good part the money that some of you people donated back at the crowdfunding campaign for a different boat but the same purpose so it seemed like a legitimate way of using it um, well and we somehow managed to actually make it through last season and brought the boat down to Phuket in the end and yeah, I just came back after spending another couple of months on the green ships to earn a little bit of money again. And now I'm back here and burning through it like you wouldn't believe. And coming back from the shipyard dirty every day. And yeah, unfortunately, 
it is one of those days when I start realizing or when I start being worried about how possible it is to get it all up and running but then you know ultimately everybody has bad days every now and then and I know that tomorrow lots gonna move again today might have been a bad day but you know there's days like that and the trick is to keep moving and really the reason why I'm here and why I'm doing all this is because I do believe that we can make a change and it takes a couple of dedicated individuals it takes small groups really it doesn't take a massive organization it, I mean, it takes a good spark to light a fire and that's it and really I would love the idea of going diving on an on a living coral reef in 20 years from now but the way things look right now chances are not that good and the truth is that in the Magui archipelago even though it has suffered a lot from fishing dynamite fishing especially and recently also day trips speed boats that just drop the anchors on the reef every day every single day of the year and they destroy a fair bit of the coral there and of course the fishing fleets well influence the fish populations one way or the other and it's mostly the bad way but last week I went up to Bold Island again whoever is watching the series every now and then will know Bold Island already so what we did last week was we set up a couple of permanent moorings in Boulder Bay where a lot of these day trade boats go and it basically means that there's about 100 anchors less that are getting dropped on a coral reef every year and considering that one anchor can destroy coral that took about 100 years to grow I feel like that's a big step forward and yeah of course we are not stopping global warming right now or we're not stopping overfishing with putting down a couple of permanent moorings but it is a step in the right direction and ultimately no organization no matter how big it is or how small it is will make all the difference but it's maybe sometimes just enough to actually be convincing enough with what you do to make other people think about it and start realizing that heck there's people out there doing all this sort of stuff and I really wonder why and if you're really getting lucky <clears throat> some of them might even join you and try to do something good themselves yeah and that's my reasoning I just <laughs> like the idea of seeing a couple of fish swimming around in a couple of decades or seeing a coral reef still alive and working as they are now I mean Great Barrier Reef is going down the drain right now and now and I mean really now is it time to change something or do something well reasonable with the world we found a million ways to abuse it and take every little bit of resources out of it but really we have to come up with ways in how to improve it how to make it work in the long run I mean every fisherman out there who's trawling a net yeah of course he wants to support his family and I can see that but if you do it now there's no way in this world anyways that your kids are going to be able to do the same thing all over again so maybe just think a generation ahead if you're a really smart person maybe think two generations ahead and heck who knows maybe you find it somewhere deep inside you that you want to move something yourself and try and make this world a better place and that's about it that's all I want leave it a little bit better than I found it and right now it feels like going backwards but looking at the things happening directly around me it feels like a good thing to do what we're doing here I mean it's baseline research it's trying to create the first marine protected area in the Maguia archipelago I mean it's kind of a high aim but it's doable and I'm pretty confident that within two three years we can have a reasonable size and that's just a tiny little NGO <clears throat> and yeah of course we're running off well a tiny little budget which 
oh, currently consists 90% out of the money that I'm making in the other half a year. But yeah, maybe in a time there's more people who say, oh wow, that's a great cause and I'd love to support it. Then please do sign up to our Patreon page or just PayPal or whatever that well, whatever you prefer really. But make sure that you believe in what we do. If you don't believe in it, then there's no point. And I will keep on doing what I'm doing. There's no question about that. Because I truly believe that that's the best use of my time. Yeah. Thanks for listening. See you next time. Bye.